so now that we've sort of labeled our spaces, the one last thing to do with our geometry is to put in what OpenStudio calls um, loose geometry. But all that really means is fenestration, so windows, doors, etc. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to just show you how to make a window. And this can be a time-consuming process, um, so I'm going to show you one, and then we'll skip ahead, and so you can do the rest of them. So let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to do is we know there's, on this wall, seven feet away from the corner, there is a six by three window. And we're going to just say that's centered um, from top to bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is do something called uh, draw some guides. So the first thing, we'll draw a seven foot guide from here to here. So seven feet. And then we want to make sure that that guide goes all the way up. So that's one guide that we have. That So our window is going to start there. So the next guide, if, if it's a 6 by 3 window, it's going to be 6 feet over from here. And again, we go to our guide point, And we go up on the blue axis. Good. So then we also know that it is three feet from the top and three feet from the bottom. So let's go put in three feet. Okay. So now if we just we can just draw our window. nice. So the next thing we're going to do is select it, and then we're going to hit this project loose geometry. Now, we could do this once we draw all of our geometry, or we can just do it um, single one by single one. So we'll just do it for this one, and we're going to project single loose geometry. And there we have a window. Very nice, very nice. So the other thing, maybe we don't want these guides anymore, so we can go to edit, delete guides. So now the, the one thing we can say is if we look at, um, if we render by surface type, we know now that that's not anymore a wall. And the, or the other thing is, by boundary condition, it's a window. Um, or by construction, again, it's different than all the rest. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and do the rest of the fenestration, and then we'll pick back up after that. Okay, so now I've put in all of the windows and the doors. So let's go ahead and orbit around and I'll show you. There's the two windows, and you can see the two doors there. There's the window on this side of the building, the two windows on the back side of the building, and the window on this side. Now, let's look at this view. The one thing you notice is right now we're rendering objects by construction, that the windows and the doors are different. The nice part about when you make a window and door in Energy um, in Open Studio is that if the object is touching the ground, it becomes a door. If it's not, it becomes a window. So um, the other way we can see this is that if we um, look at the info tool, that this right now is the exterior window. Um, and the doors have no construction right now. So that's actually a problem. So we're going to... Um, edit those options right now. So let's go here. We're going to click on this space and we're going to edit the option and we're going to go to subsurface. Right now there's eight subsurfaces and this is the glass door. So we can see we have some fixed windows on this and um, and we have our glass door. So um, we're going to just, the nice part also about this sort of object editor is that when we go to the West Office and we go to the subsurface and we click, you can see it selected subsurface 1 is that window, subsurface 2 is that door. So this is a, right now a glass door, um, and I believe it's not a glass door on here. Yeah, so we're going to make it a operable door. Oh, not operable window, uh, just a door. 
and then the construction for now again we'll probably change this so for now we're just gonna make it an exterior door okay and then the next thing we're gonna do is make sure this door is the same so we're gonna go to find it we're gonna find it at the subsurface level Oh, I think it was already there. Yep. So there's the, again, we're going to just make it an operable or a door. And then um, we're going to make it exterior door. Yeah. And then get out of that. So now when we go and we look at our sort of info tool here, you can see now it has the exterior door, which is very nice. Um, and all of our windows are exterior windows. Great. So now we're basically completely done with our geometry. We have our windows, we have our doors, we have everything else. So the next video is going to um, show how to open this up into actual Open Studio, not the Open Studio plugin, which we're using right now for SketchUp, and go over how to define a few parameters that way.